What's up guys, Mr. Golden Thumbs here, and today we've got week number six of our Road to Glory with James Johnson. Now last week, things started getting heated up a little bit. We know that Bill Wilson came in. He wasn't too happy about James Johnson, you know, taking some of the spotlight, getting more carries, showing that, you know, he could be a decent football player, and it's been taken away from Bill's you know spotlight in prime time being the man at school being the top dog and all so some happened during the week at school you know so you know James just casually walking down walking down to class down the hall heading to class and Bill Wilson on purpose motherfucker came up and just shoulder butt the fuck out of James and knocked him on the ground now James was like yo the fuck's your problem, Bill? And Bill just, you know, kept going on like nothing ever happened. Fucking didn't give a shit. Didn't even notice. You know, pretend like he didn't do nothing. So, things between Bill and James starting to heat up a little bit. James a little bit frustrated after that incident. You know, he's thinking to himself, yo, what the fuck is this guy's problem? And Bill just casually ignored him. You know, he's... He's getting angry that he can't get any, that he's getting less playing time and all. James taken away from that. So, things are moving, you know, getting a little bit heated between the two. And that was the first incident. And I think some more incidents might come up in the future, you know. We'll have to see how this plays out. But for the moment, you know, James can clearly see now that something's up with Bill. That Bill's not happy about having James around. So, let's see what happens when these two meet up next week but for now let's just keep it at that let's go in here and play the week number six matchup against Toronto who's currently two and three JJ thinking he's got so much breakaway speed forgets about people behind him anyways halfback draw here oh my lord and looks like the block is not gonna be here today either it really looks like the block is not gonna be here again today having a hard time finding blocks here halfback draw once again and for Fox sakes three and out already so one of the linemen went offside there that brings up a one and fifth first and 15 one and 15 anyways coming out passing here JJ's open and there we go nice grab on the sideline there for a nice 10 yard pickup second and five coach decides to come out passing again here last pass went for a nice 10 yards to JJ JJ's gonna cut it up the middle here gonna get a nice throw nice completion so so far it looks like JJ is gonna have to you know, take his receiving skills into... Wow, well, I'm not even... Alright, so third reception there for JJ. Oh my lord, I made no sense, but a 12-yard pickup. So, so far, JJ sitting at a 1-yard per carry average. 7 carries for 7 yards. That is freaking terrible. Get us some blocks out here. And there we go. Nice for... The blocks are not here. The last two weeks have been struggles running the ball. Come on, get us a block here on third and second. Let's get into that end zone. There we go. Finally getting a block in James Johnson. Gonna die for that end zone. And finally getting a rushing touchdown here for the first rushing touchdown in the last two weeks. Way to go, JJ taking us. So JJ giving his team a 6-0 lead here with that touchdown. Another drive coming up here. Second quarter, 4-11 to go here. So start of the second quarter. There we go. We've got some blocks on the outside of this. JJ have the breakaway speed. No. All right, so JJ gets stopped short on two runs in a row there. Going to bring out the passing game here on third and nine. Let's see if JJ can get open here. So after those two consecutive runs, Coach decides to come out passing with 150 to go. JJ has shown he can be a threat in the passing game. And it's going deep, and there we go. Nice completion by the quarterback. Not even going to have to hit JJ there. 57-yard touchdown to go up 14-0 here. Here we are, start of the second half. Up 14-0 against Toronto here. Coach looking to run it out. Or looking to run, and there we go. Can we set a block on the edge? JJ's got some blocks. Nice room to run. Picks up 23 there. JJ's got the hot hand, and Coach definitely wants to keep giving it to him. Let's see if this O-line can keep up the good work they've been doing so far, at least compared to last week. And there we go, JJ gonna, can he, can he break it? Can he break it? He can't break it, but nice 21 yard pick up there. Inside the 20 here, first and 10, looking to come out passing here. And this quarterback, 
Are you kidding me? Quarterback already thrown two interceptions. The last one inside the 20. So we come back out here 14 to 0. And JJ gets some nice blocks. Stumbles a bit, but still able to pick up seven yards there. JJ has shown he can put in the work here today, being the workhorse for this offense. Let's hit him up on the sweep here. Can he get a block? And there he go. Bounces it outside. He can't outrun the guy. <laughs> can't outrun the after again stopped on two consecutive runs. Coach opts to come out passing here. Four verticals on third and eight. Can we get JJ open? And there he is. Fall two yards short of the first down marker. Coach decides to call running play here. Have JJ make up for not making that first down. There he goes. A nice spin. And gonna pick it up there. A nice 10 yard run. After so three people apparently can't block a corner. I I'll understand that. But same play here again. It for fuck's sakes, call something different, coach. Coach needs to change up his play call, for fuck's sakes. Don't go toss two plays in a row when your O-line clearly ain't going to block a corner. But there we go. JJ going to take it into the end zone there for a second touchdown of the game. And it's going to be 21-0 here late in the, or in the start of the fourth. Fourth quarter, we've got a nice 21-0 lead. Looking good for us over Toronto here today. Coming out passive for some reason. And JJ's wide open. JJ's wide open. And there we go. A nice pick up there in the passing game. So, of course, second and six. Still running the ball here. Looking to finish this one out. Let's just get it over with. It hasn't been a very good game, honestly. And there we go. JJ. Oh, no. The shoelace tackle. So that's another win for our squad right there. JJ taking his team to victory once again. Showing off. He's a decent running back here in high school. Having never played before. A, almost a 200 yard performance. Uh, close to 30 carries. Maybe around 30. Anyways. We got a scholarship offer here from Syracuse University. The highest star rated dynasty that, has, that we applied for here. And so, three-star dynasty, Syracuse, offering us a scholarship at running back here. So, very good for JJ there. Puts us at 455 recruiting points here on the year. Still only a two-star prospect. But that was a very good showing there for JJ. And hopefully, he can keep this up as his high school career goes on. Getting close to an end here. Week 7 coming up. There's 10 weeks in the high school season. And then it's going to be the playoffs. But another win for JJ and his squad. Looking good right now. And hopefully he can only keep improving. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you think that JJ deserves to be higher than a two-star rating. Or if he deserves to be lower than a two-star rating recruit right now. Let me know how you think his season is going. Uh, you know, has he been getting enough touches? Is his yards per carry is not too bad. You know, let me know what you think of his performance right now in high school for a first-time athlete. But I think JJ is doing all right for a first-time athlete so far. And let me know your predictions. Do you think he's going to get better? Do you think he's going to get, you know, better offers from other schools? Let me, let me know how you think the story is going to develop here in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, I'm out. Yeah.